What's up, everybody? This is Brandon from GeekSweat.com, and I'm joined by Mr. John Vincible. Mr. John Vincible is me. How you doing, John? I'm doing great. Okay, so we got a lot to get through. This is part nine of the Oblivion Walker Achievement Walkthrough, the Ebony Mail. So uh, a lot of information up front. Um, this is a level 30 quest. It's one of the highest level quests to do. It starts at the uh, Shrine of Boethia up there. Um, there are three ways you can do this quest. You either find the shrine after you're level 30, you read the book Boethia's Proving, which is uh, carried by a follower of, Boeth of Boethia, which will be a random encounter after you hit level 30. Or, um, after you complete the House of Horrors quest, you'll usually be attacked pretty, pretty soon thereafter by a follower of Boethia. So, first and foremost, you're going to have to kill a follower on this one. Um, you know, one of, your, one of your buddies. And since me and Lydia, we go way back, Lydia, Lydia's not going anywhere. Oh, I'm keeping her. So, since you got to kill one of your followers, what I did is I, I went to Riften in the, uh, the southeast here, and I went to purchase a, uh, a mercenary. I figure 500 gold is a small price to pay for, right for my you. Lydia. So you tell her to go home. I'll head back um, home if you need me. But she'll stay there safely. Yeah, yeah. Well, she'll go home so you can go find her again. Okay. So dismiss whatever follower you're using. I highly yeah, recommend I you, you purchase a mercenary. Um, unless you really want that merchant mercenary. But I, I had a problem with killing any of the followers that I, I can get for free. So... Uh, so I went to Riften and bought, I think his name was Marcuccio right there, something like that. But 500 gold, it's cheap to get this, uh, <clears throat> to get this quest done. So, um, also this is a good opportunity if you've been following uh, with us the entire walkthrough. Uh, this is a good opportunity to use the Ebony Blade because since you have to kill your follower um, and the Ebony Blade is powered off charges of uh, killing your friends, this will uh, be like sort of a free charge for that sword. So if you if you have gotten it and you have it, you should probably use it. I don't, but you know, don't be me. Don't be that guy. Yeah, don't do as we do. Yeah, <laughs> do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> I always hated that line. Yeah, that line. So um, what you do is you head up to the uh, the shrine of Boethia. It's pretty easy to get there. Uh, just head north, uh, follow that path like I was like you saw. And uh, hang a right at those two piles of rocks right before you get to the tower with uh, the two trolls out in front. Hang a right and then follow it around and uh, you'll walk up this hill. And no matter what time of day it is, it, it always gets dark when you walk up here. Ooh. So you know some, some stuff's about to go down. Yeah. And you go up to Stonehenge. That's right. So uh, this actually gets kind of loud. We are Lord Boethius. Oh, can't be me. Have you come to test your metal? <laughs> Oh, you're going to kill him in an arena, sort of. Uh, no. This, it's much better than that. Okay. <laughs> I mean, not to sell it or anything. Yeah, yeah. I, I have a feeling something horrible <laughs> is in store for your follower. So you come and talk to the priestess of Boethia. And uh, after a long, long conversation, this woman loves to talk. You, uh, She lets you know that you need to sacrifice uh, one of your followers. And by doing so, you will get the attention of Boethia, okay. which you want. Very good that you exchange followers before starting the quest, then. Yeah, yeah. Something tells me you learned that the hard way. <laughs> yeah, I did. But thanks to this walkthrough, our viewers do not have to well, learn the hard way. Well, hopefully, hopefully, you know, hopefully somebody won't uh, share my woes <laughs> by, uh, you know, having to kill Lydia. <laughs> I miss her already, actually. Yeah. But you can get her back after you I, kill this guy. I can. So we got our mercenary, and we talked to the priestess of Boethia. She says, head up the stairs to the shrine, and, uh... No? Get ready. You do what's got to be done. This is actually pretty cool. Up to the sacrificial shrine. Yeah. So I don't, I don't remember what Boethia's sort of sphere of influence is, but it's, it's bad. It's mean stuff. Yeah. Well, if this is what you need just to get her attention. Right, what right. It? What do you need? What do you need? What is it? What's going on? What are you selling? <laughs> what are you buying? What are you buying? The, let's see, the pillar of sacrifice. <laughs> oh, no. Let's go touch that. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh, just, uh... He's in a bubble now. Public service, don't touch the Pillar of Sacrifice. So, y you click on him, and you order him to go touch the Pillar, and he says, sure, yeah, I can do that. And then you kill him. Aww. Oh, and then it lights up? And then it lights up. That was worth it. That's a, that was a cool little light show. Ugh. And then Boethia... Flesh is so... Boethia possesses the body of your dead follower. Oh, wow. That's not creepy. My attention, mortal. That. Is most unwise. She's not a nice lady. Ooh. She's is not that a nice so? lady. She's so seemed grumpy. Yeah. 
when you're talking to her, no, just don't you know, don't buy into any of her I crap. Just tell her you're not afraid of her. And Perhaps. well, it's the only option you have. No, no, there were several. Oh, but some of them, you know, we get to the point, and some that. of them kind of go off on tangents. So listen, all of you. She's so forceful. Yes. Yeah. So now you follow her. Now you're following your dead follower. Because yes. that's by, uh, that's right. <laughs> by what's her name again? Boethia? Boethia. Boethia. Yeah. You have gathered here night after night. So she basically, um, fools upon my shrine belittles all of her followers. With yourselves. Well, that's one form of management, I guess. Yeah. She's one of those just like, you know, hard to get types. Rest. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I gathered that. <laughs> So basically, she lets she tells you and the rest of the followers that uh, it's going to be a battle royale. Yeah, you the guys fight all, pit that we saw earlier. That's right. You guys all got to fight, and the last one, uh, the last one to survive, gets to be her champion, or gets. Uh, and you step away and start letting them kill each other. Yeah, that's exactly what I do. I back up and just let them hack each other apart. Well, they kill each other. Yeah. So they're saving you a lot of work here. Yeah. Well, and that guy seems like a tough. Start cookie. start throwing fireballs in there. And then when he's down to two, I ran in there and uh, just kill him. Very uh, clever strategy there. There you go. Oh, he wasn't so tough. Well, he'd, he'd been through a lot by Yeah, he'd been weakened, I guess. <laughs> yeah, just hang back and let him kill each other. Somebody had already opened the jar about halfway for you. That's right. That's right. But it was that last turn that it really It was that last it. turn, and then you got your pickles. Pickles for everyone. You will find him holed up at Knife Point Ridge. Where he plays king to bandits. So she tells you that her previous champion is hole up at uh, Knife Point Ridge, Knife I heard. Knife Point Ridge, which sounds like... <laughs> doesn't sound like a nice part of town. The vacation destination yeah. of, the, of the season, it's not right? about you. Once his corpse lays cold upon the ground and all trace of his followers erased, retrieve my ebony mail. A gift fit only for my true champion. Oh, that's all you have to do is kill him and everybody uh, yeah. that follows him. Yeah, just kill everybody. Oh, she had possessed another dude right there. Yeah. I didn't even see that. The, the last person you kill, she possesses. So you, you want to... Uh, Boethi lets you know her previous champions displeased her, and she wants him dead. He's hole up at Knife Point Ridge where he plays... Uh, he got as far away from Boethia as he, he possibly could. He got the hell out of there. <laughs> and I mean, with a, with a woman like that yeah. on, on your case, you know, why wouldn't you, right? So, uh, but he's wearing the armor, and you're going to claim it. That's 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 the hope. Yeah, that's that's where we're headed. So they're hide behind this rock. Oh, they're they're throwing rocks down. They drop some traps. Yeah. Um. So Boethia tells you that she wants you to kill everyone secretly. Go in oh. there and stealthily. Ooh. You have to <clears throat> stealthily kill as many people as possible. Um, you don't actually have to. Uh. From everything I've read and everything I've done, I've actually done this uh, uh, multiple times. Um, there's no penalty for uh, for just running in there, and, and no bonus either, and no bonus either way. Um, but you know, for an extra little challenge, it's kind of fun. Um, everybody outside, I just kind of ran through, but once I got inside, I, I snuck through and assassinated everyone. Well, I thought that was Lydia for a second. I thought you got her back. No, no, I'm, I'm so a wannabe. This is a bandit thug. That's right. Ooh. You you know Lydia. Now I'm flying solo this one, which is actually good because if you have a follower when you go into this cave and you're trying to uh, kill everyone stealthily, she's gonna ruin everything. Yeah, she's gonna ruin everything. She's gonna run her mouth and ruin everything. <laughs> Girls ruin everything. She's gonna make a hostile situation just even that more deadly. <laughs> Sound a little jaded over there, John? Not at all. <laughs> oh, arrow to the chest. <clears throat> We should, we should have had an arrow counter. How many times? Oh, there's another one. How many times we find ourselves uh, with an arrow lodged somewhere in our in our person? So um, clean up the bandits outside and then head in uh, inside towards a knife point ridge. Now, like I was saying, Boethia said she wanted you to kill everybody stealthily. You don't actually have to. There's no special reward. The quest will complete as normal using any tactic you choose. But uh, I, I went ahead and did it silently anyhow. Just um, for funsies. Just for funsies. So I used throw voice to throw my voice in that direction. So he goes oh, that's cool. Forward, so like a distract. And then, uh, wow. There, so there's melee hidden attacks. Melee sneak attacks like that. Yeah. Melee sneak executions? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And they're going to be a one-hit kill every time like that? Uh, you know, I'm not 100%. I think so. 
pretty neat. And then she just oblivious. She doubles over the table there. That's right. Um, so there, are f every everyone else you need is in this big cavernous area. But I found this little area right here where you can actually nice shoot through and kill some folk. And if you're trying to do it, oh, Ooh, a brain and it shot doesn't kill him. Yeah, <laughs> I could take a Daedric arrow to the brain, I guess. That's right. Well, they are curved, so maybe it didn't do as much damage. Yeah. <laughs> So again, with the throw boys. Uh, if you have your quest marker on, once you get down to a certain number of enemies, uh, they'll all have an arrow above their head. And for some reason, the champion of Boethia, this, this cat over here in the, in the smoky armor. He starts attacking that yeah, guy. Yeah, he gets aggroed on her. I have no idea why. Interesting. I'm, I wonder if it's maybe the throw boys that did it. Oh. I, try, I, tried to figure out, um, I tried to figure it out. I read up on it, and there was just no information available, so... I don't know what happened, but I'm not... Might be a secret pro tip right there. I'm not complaining. It was so turn, pro, turn, uh, I didn't even know it. Yeah. <laughs> turn enemies on each other. Ooh. There you go. The champion... Ooh, and then he slides down the stairs. The champion catches one in the spine. That was great. He didn't seem tough at all. Courtesy of Boethia. Yeah, no, he didn't really. Some champion. Uh, no wonder they, she wants a new champion. And then, yeah. She wants a champion wearing sweet Daedric armor. Yeah. And there's one more gal over here just mining away. And I hate to do it, but... You know, <laughs> gotta do what's gotta. It be never done. gets old. So here you go. Here's the mail. Go ahead and grab it from him. Very nice. A shield too. He's got Move. everything. Yeah, he's got some other stuff on him, but I'm just after the mail right now. So this doesn't actually complete the quest. You have to put it on before uh, the the next part of the quest goes through. So go to your inventory, put it on. And, you know, just demoing it for a second. Yeah, pretty cool looking. Yeah, not bad. That is the item we're after for the quest. That is the item we're after. And then Boethia comes you back. Have earned my respect. She says something at the end here that is awesome. Live to tell about. Sounds like Boethia from Janeway. I shall write your name upon the tablet of absolute darkness. Ooh. You may keep my ebony mail, a token of my appreciation to my new champion. Here's the first Its gifts yeah. will resonate with your talent. God, isn't this such good voice acting? Yeah, yeah, she is quite sinister. Yes, she is. And with the mail, whenever you sneak wearing this mail, you get all shadowy. Ooh, is it extra sneak? It is, it is. It, it, uh, I think it adds like sort of a muffle spell effect to you, so it basically reduces your noise by half. Very cool. Plus, whenever you're around enemies, it'll do damage over time in the form of poison. Oh, <clears throat> interesting. Very, very cool. So that's a fun quest, great voice acting, I loved it, but... It's over, and you got it. So you're one step closer to getting the, uh, the achievement. That was, uh, that was part nine, the Ebony Mail, of our Skyrim Oblivion Walker achievement walkthrough. God, that's a mouthful. It is. Every you time named I it. it. <laughs> yeah, I did. I should, I should have, I, we should use an acronym moving forward. Um, but there you go. Uh, a couple more left. I hope you stick around for the rest of the series. Uh, with GeekSweat.com, I'm Brandon. And I'm John Vincible. And uh, we'll see you soon.